How's it going guys? My name is Noah. I'm Jacob. We are here today at an abandoned juvenile detention center. This is actually one of the oldest juvenile detention centers in Richmond City. Uh, we're going to check it out right now. We'll see you guys in there. Alright, so we're going to head into the store. We actually found this pretty quickly. We were just walking around the facility and we found it. Alright, so uh, let's head on in guys. Alright, let's get some line here. Alright, so far, so good. Now approaching the first room. There's like stuff everywhere. The ceiling is falling apart. Completely almost gone. Alright. So. There's no entrance right there. That was just torn down recently. It's a bathroom. This is pretty cool, guys. bathroom area that they stayed. So actually this juvie housed both boys and girls. I'm spraying the spire webs everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, this was home to a bunch of, uh, I wouldn't say home, but it was the place where they kept many children and both boys and girls. This place is clearly vandalized, guys. This it's ceiling. torn out. <laughs> I mean, look, look at the ceiling. and It's absolutely destroyed in there. This is one of the most um, torn up abandoned places I've been into. But it's really open, so we're not having to really worry about our respirator mask. Some like hosing and straight up woods right there. It's like the walls just, I don't know what this is, ceiling or what? It's just like... I think that's ceiling. I don't really think that is. It's just like falling off everywhere. Not much in here. It's going this way. Cafeteria. Closet right here. This looks like it's uh maybe the cafeteria. Oh yeah, this is the cafeteria. Cause look here's where they like, served uh, food. Here's the cafeteria tables against the lunch ladies or whoever just be here serving food. This is probably the kitchen. This place, someone just like carving out a wall right here for some reason. <laughs> Got some nice graffiti. You can't even tell this is a juvie anymore. This is just another empty room. I'm gonna keep heading on. Yeah, there happens to be plants. Just growing here. It's pretty cool. Some closets. Now we are going into what looks like the gym area. That's kind of cool. A basketball hoop right here. More empty rooms. It's weird to think about that like, boys and girls were just in here enjoying the little time they had to have a little bit of entertainment throughout the day. So I'm pretty sure this place was uh, closed due to uh, unlivable conditions. I guess this is where they wash the kids, or whoever. This is where the security guards. Some 
Should have been like a bathroom or a locker room maybe. This destroys the circuit board right here. There's so many spider webs in here. This place is just one of the most destroyed places I have been into. And so now what we notice is it actually transitions into another gym, gymnasium in here, which is really similar, but I guess this is where they separate the boys, boys and girls, that's what I'm thinking. So this actually points out to the back of this, the juvenile itself. It's like it's just duplicates. And that's where we came from, I think, right? You can tell there's like spider webs everywhere. Check this out. This looks like it was a. Uh Actually, documents that they used at this facility. VHS. Hey, look at this. This is a relic right here. Uh, this is the front of the building. There's our car. What we? Oh, which way? Left or right? Let's go right first. Pine jelly. What in the world? So this is a cleaning closet. I'm supposing. So I guess where they kept it. Pine jelly. I don't know what that is. Small rooms. Oh, you know what these might have been? Mm. It's not been the whole, you know, bathrooms maybe? Holding cells for when the kids. They're really small. They are. They're probably bathrooms. So this is just a bunch of rooms. Here's a room, is a front door, it looks like. One of the front doors. 